One of the things, number five on our list of seven here, is make your customers really successful. And one of the things we always try and identify is who's our customer, and then we work hard to make people successful. And I want to give you a couple examples. Um, we have a program at Trek called Continuous Improvement. And all of our competitors, they supply bikes to stores. And we do that, too, and we think we make the best product in the world. But one of the things we really try and do is we try and help that business succeed. Because we figure if we can help that business make more money, that business will grow, and that business will be thankful that Trek helped them make more money. Here's an example. This is a retailer on the East Coast. We started working with them in 2002, giving them business advice. In 2002, they were doing $6 million, and they made a profit of $100,000. That's when Trex stepped in with a continuous improvement program, and we started to help them with their business. Today, that business does $12 million. It makes a profit of $1.2 million. If you ask the two guys who own that business what's made all the difference in their business, Trek. Not the bikes. It's all the business advice. That's the way we're different. We helped a small business grow. If I helped a customer go from making $100,000 a year to making $1.2 million a year, when I ask them for something, do you think I'll get it? Every time, all right? Every time I'll get it, and I'm playing a different game than all my competitors are playing. Uh, here's a bicycle store. Uh, this is Fast Track. This is a bike shop in uh, Southern California, and the guy who owns it, his name is Dave Letiri. Guy is a master salesperson. Really good salesperson, really good at customer service. Absolutely a horrible merchandiser, right? I mean, look at the store. So I walk into the store one day, and I go, Dave, how are you? Great. I got anything going on? He goes, well, I got a real problem. I go, what's your problem? And I had been into the store four or five times earlier, and I had already told him how terrible his store looked, but he really didn't seem to care. <laughs> and he said, you know, REI is opening up right down the street from me. I go, great. I go, what are you going to do about it? He goes, I don't know. What do you think I should do about it? I go, well, your store looks terrible. You might want to start there. And he goes, well, could you help me? And I go, Dave, I go, I'll help you if you do exactly what I tell you to do. Now I'm asking for a leap of faith. I go, we have a retail division, and we'll help you help yourself. I go, I'll send a couple of guys out here as long as you let them do their deal. Will you do that? And he said, yes. Okay, now this is, we're a bike company. All right? But one of the ways we sell more bikes is we help our customers get better, all right? We sent four guys in there. Okay? That's how Dave's store looks today. Before, after. Do you think Dave does more business with us now? Dave's business grew. He grew almost 30% last year. His percentage of Trek business grew from 30% to 60%. Always try and be different. 